Gee golly, Willikers, NECA's doing a fantastic job pumping out action figures based on the animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon show. Today we're looking at the radically bodacious Mondo Gecko. Shred, Mondo, shred! Gotta love that front of the box art there, classic image of the man himself on his powered skateboard. Because this box art is intended to look like a large VHS cassette tape, both sides of the box well, they look like a VHS cassette tape. The top of the box is all yellow with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and the back has some really fantastic graphic design work from my friend Jason Langston, where we can see four separate images of Mondo Gecko as well as Kerma, and a bio for each character. Here's Mondo Gecko's, plucked from the sewers by the malevolent Mr. X. Mondo Gecko only knew a life of crime. That was until this gnarly skateboarder met his long lost sewer mate, Michelangelo. Mondo and Mikey soon realized they were born to be best buds and teamed up to thwart Mr. X's villainous venture. And then here's Kerma's bio. Hailing from the distant planet of the Turtloids, Kerma was no typical terrapin. As the sanctity of his beloved utopian city of Shelrila was terrorized by the treacherous Herman the Horrible, Kerma searched the galaxy for a savior. Surmising an earthling could protect his peace-loving people, Kerma brought Ground Chuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles back to his home world to defeat the devious double-headed dragon. Now when we open this bad boy up, which is actually held closed by a little piece of Velcro, we get another fantastic promotional image of the Mondo Gecko figure holding his skateboard, and then a really cool window where we can see everything on the inside to tempt us into buying it from the store shelves if we happen to encounter it in the wild. But you don't want to look at the box anymore. We want to open this bad boy up and get him out. So let's do just that. And so here they are, Mondo, Gecko, and Kerma out of their window box. Complete with laser gun, skateboard, bag of bank robbery cash, pre-mutated Mondo Gecko lizard, plastic explosives, extra hands for Mondo Gecko, and this here Pip-Boy. It's not a Pip-Boy, I'm just kidding. Now first of all, looking up close at the figure, he looks very, very cool. You can see all the detail is painted really crisp on that shirt with the skateboard and the lightning bolt. He's got his skull knee pad and then his red spiked knee pad, his black and red skate shoes. They kind of look like Converse, but they're not quite. His long yellow fingernailed red fingerless gloved purple elbow padded arm. And there are two tones of green this figure's painted in. You got the lighter green on the one side and then the darker on the back to try to simulate the cartoon series. The tail for this guy was actually a second piece that came in the package that you had to pop onto the ball joint. And his face sculpt actually looks really, really good for what it's supposed to be as well. I like the fact that Mondo Gecko has that hinge in the jaw so his mouth can open and shut. And the face paint for Mondo is, it's okay. The one thing, as usual, that NECA seems to have a little bit of a challenge with is making sure that their black lines, which are supposed to be symbolic of the animated series, are neat and in the right place. And Mondos are actually pretty good compared to some previous Turtles figures that I've gotten. The black lines all over the body are actually pretty much where they're supposed to be. Mondo's fiery two-stroke engine skateboard with the big pipe sticking out the back actually has wheels that roll back and forth, which is kind of nice. It's nice that there's actual rolling wheels on the bottom of this thing. And I can appreciate how clean looking this, I mean, what I can only assume is a two-stroke engine like a lawnmower that powers this thing is, I, I, I can really appreciate how neat and tidy it looks. Mondo easily fits on the skateboard via a peg on the board like that, and then you can roll them all over the place. Let's get him into a nice a skateboarding pose. All right, hang 10, buddy. No, wait a minute. That's a surfing thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't skate or surf. Now to look at the rest of the accessories, let's take off his open skateboarding hands and replace them with these two grabbing hands. And before we stick his other hand on, let's just grab his Pip-Boy and, no, I'm just kidding. It's a compliance cuff. It was actually used to control mutants. This actually comes from Mondo Gecko's second appearance on the classic 87 TMNT cartoon show entitled Dirk Savage, Mutant Hunter. 
This was a compliance band that was used to control mutants. And now that it's off, I can show you how it attaches. One side's got holes, other side's got pegs. And it just snaps on like that. There's also this here laser gun that was given to him by Mr. X to take care of Michelangelo. It'll fit snugly under his arm like that. But I would say be careful because as is with the nature of NECA's turtle accessories, sometimes the paint can scuff off just from your figure is just basically handling it. Here's an example of one of the bags of cash that he would have been apprehended with by Michelangelo during their first encounter. He actually had a bunch of these, but I can understand why they only made one. Here is the little baby Mondo Gecko, who it was revealed in his first appearance was actually in the sewers crawling around in the mutagen at the same time as Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello. And finally, here is the bomb. It's the bomb. No, no pun intended. Yep. That's an explosive. And now let's talk about a few comparisons. For one, I'm going to bring in my original Mondo Gecko from way back when. And then here is the Mondo Gecko from my son's Ninja Turtle collection. You can see that with this Mondo Gecko, he's like, he's, he's really quite the reimagining of the original character. And then we have the original Mondo Gecko figure right here, which you can see does have a lot of the same basic look from this one. Only this one's got a roller skate attached to his tail and braces and his tongue is sticking out. And then I'm just going to compare him to Michelangelo. Being that these two were destined to become best sewer buds, it only makes sense that I would bring him into the picture too. And looking at him side by side, they definitely both look size and scale appropriate. Now how well is Mondo articulated, you may or may not be asking. Well, we saw that the mouth has articulation, so there's that. Then there's the head, which has a surprisingly good amount of rotate and posability. Plus, you've got some neck articulation in there as well, so he can kind of lean forward a little bit and then tilt his head back. He's got a ball in the torso that is, that's okay. Not super great, but, but not terrible. As well as a swivel in the waist, a rounded hinge up here in the armpit. You've got a bicep swivel where the sleeve meets his well, his bicep, and then you've got that single jointed elbow that does that. Not quite 90 degrees. <laughs> and then we've got a rounded hinge right there in the wrist. Mine is actually really tight from being painted shut, and I really don't want to try to move it. I mean, you can see that the, you know, the, the rounded hinge goes all the way from front to back, so we get an idea of what it's going to be able to do. I just don't have any hot water here to force this, and I don't want to break it. It is a NECA after all. <laughs> you look at these things the wrong way sometimes and they go Pow! If we look up here, we see his two little round ball pegs there, those little barbells that actually have a really good full range of motion like that. So I like that very, very much. Double jointed knees and they crunch up more than sufficiently. I think that is fantastic. And he has some, just like with the sleeves, some rotative motion right here where the pants meet the legs. It's a thigh cut. He's got one. There it is. And you can see up here in his shoe, he does have a little hinge that will move his foot back and forth. And obviously it's going to rotate, but this actually acts as more of a pivot. So I am really liking the amount of articulation this guy has. And now we move on to Kerma from the planet of the Turtleoids. A character who, unlike Michelangelo and the rest of the Ninja Turtles, wasn't mutated to take this form, but rather comes from a planet of other intelligent bipedal turtle people. Guys, I think this is probably the cutest action figure I own. Look at that uh, smile there. Oh, he looks so old and wise and cuddly. He looks like someone's grandpa. Look, he's even wearing a bathrobe. He leaves the house in his hooded bathrobe. I will say I do like the two tones here. You got purple and then you got like a purplish pink. The black animation lines on this one are pretty neat. Again, it's it must be challenging to get these lines just right. And up close, his face is really expressive. I really like this. He doesn't really have that much, though, in the way of articulation. His head is on a round bob here, so 
you know, there you go, ball joint action. And then his arms are just articulated up here at the shoulders. That's it for his arm articulation. He does have some wrist rotation like that. And then his legs, you can really see up there, hopefully. Hold on, let me just change the light here so you can see up his can. Yeah, see, there, there's really not a lot to speak of there. They'll rotate like that, they'll turn, and, and that's really it. They won't move forwards or backwards or anything like that. Not really. But I don't really look at this like he's actually intended to really be an action figure. I mean, he is, but he's also... I really just kind of see him as an accessory to the Mondo Gecko figure. So now, what do I think about these two figures? Well, honestly, Mondo Gecko was a character that as soon as I saw the previews for him, I was like, shut up and take my money! Because he was one of my first Turtles action figures. After I got all four Turtles and Splinter and really just all the characters from Wave 1, Mondo Gecko was one of my first. Him and Metalhead. And the Mondo Gecko figure is actually probably one of NECA's best attempts at a character as far as the articulation and the posability and the stability of the figure. And they're gonna fit right in with the existing animated NECA TMNT figures. And I'm just really overall satisfied with these two, more than satisfied. So I say go grab them if you see them. Cause I sure know that I've enjoyed them and I feel like you will too. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Have yourself a super fantastic, awesome day, everybody, and take care.